Hi, welcome to Cup of Tea with Erizu. My name is Erizu and I'm a student here at UC Berkeley taking the IOR 190G class discussing the smartphone patent war. For this week's Cup of Tea, we're going to have a further deep analysis on how teas and patents are alike to each other. So we'll start off by looking at this tea bag right here. What do you see inside this tea bag? You see these little brown little leaves, right? And these brown little leaves, Earl Grey leaves actually, represent the ingredients to this tea. And when you look at a patent, patents also have this idea of ingredients as well, but they're not called ingredients, they're called claims. So instead of see, viewing this as a tea bag, imagine it as just a patent, and what's inside of it are the claims that make it distinguishable from other patents. And we're going to start off by talking about patent number 8074172, which is a patent dealing with the method system and graphical user interface for providing word recommendations. This patent was created and filed by Apple, and it was filed back in 2007. Apple is currently using this patent to sue Samsung for patent infringement, and it's targeting the Samsung Galaxy Nexus, which was re recently released to the public in the United States. And you, when we look at a patent, you know when it's starting to list off the claims when it starts when the phrase is found that says, "What is claimed is." So we're going to start off by reading the first claim for today's cup of tea, and then break break it down by an element and see what this patent claim really means in human, norm, normal human language. So for us, what is claimed is number one, a method comprising a portable electronic device with a touchscreen display. So this means this claim patent does not just deal with mobile smartphones that have touchscreens. It also applies to anything that has a touchscreen really, such as the Apple iTouch, which is an MP3 player, or even the Apple iPad, or anything that's a tablet with a touch screen. And then the next, the very first element says, in the first area of the touch screen display, displaying a current character string being input by a user with the keyboard. So it sets the standard on how like this, the touch screen should look. So say this is our portable electronic device we have. The keyboard's right here, and it says that there, there's a first area, list, I'm listed it as number one, where the current character string is what I, the user, have typed out. So I'm going to type out, take the car. So, so far I've typed out, take the, and I've stopped at C. And then the next elements are going to let me know on how I can get car automatically without having to type it out using this small little keyboard. And so the next element reads, in a second area of the touchscreen display that is between the first area and the keyboard, displaying the current character string or a portion thereof in a suggested replacement character string for the current character string on opposite sides of the second area. You must be thinking, what did she just say? Translation, please. So now they're saying that there's the second area, number two where I listed, that has to be between the touch screen and your keyboard and it lists the predicted words that the phone thinks you're trying to say like car which is what I'm trying to say and there's also cat and there's also other words that have C A that have C A and E so that can also be an option if these aren't the chosen words I want and then to further decide if I really want that word the next element helps me to helps me clarify Replacing a current character string in the first area with a suggested replacement character string if the user activates a spacebar on the keyboard. So this part says that if I want to use the word car, I have to activate something to, to let the, pro, the phone program implementing word prediction know that I'm going to be using this whole second area. So when, what I'm going to have to do is press the spacebar to let them know, okay, I'm going to use this word bank. Then the next element says, replacing the current character string in the first area with a suggested replacement character string if the, performer, if the user performs a first gesture on the suggested replacement character string displayed in the second area. Okay, so I've initiated action by clicking the space. Now the phone knows I'm going to pick something from the word bank. So my first gesture, pretty much my touch to the word, initiates that car is the one I want. Then the next element reads, Keeping the current character string in the first area and adding a space if the user performs a second gesture in the second area on the current character string or the portion thereof displayed in the second area. So this says, okay, since these aren't the words I wanted, I have to press space and either type out 
the word or click this opposite side of this the second area to see more options so pretty much this the first claim to say how, like walks the user through on how to go through sending out a text without having to send type out every word or number and helps with word prediction and so Samsung is uh, being accused of stealing this patent by Apple and is now in court and if Samsung is found to be guilty then the Samsung Galaxy Nexus will for sure have to come off the shelves in the United States but say you have a Samsung Galaxy Nexus right now well you know you don't go return it lucky you, you you get to keep it with the patent created by Apple in it and so I would like to thank you for listening to me on dissecting the first claim of patent number 8074172 thank you and have a great day and I hope you enjoyed this great cup of tea